This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, you probably know exactly what kind of guitar this is, and... Um, well, you'd be kind of right, but you'd be kind of wrong as well. This is not a Brian May guitar red special kind of thing. Uh, this is the Harley Benton copy of said guitar. It is the Harley Benton BM75, and it belongs to one of my students who's just bought it and uh, left it with me to make a couple of videos with. I was going to do a sort of fake unboxing of this guitar, um, you know, putting it back in the box and taking it out again, but it just seemed a little bit... Um, a little bit phony to do that but that is basically the kind of video we've got today just a little bit of a first impressions look at this guitar um steve the guy who bought this guitar bought it as a b stock and it needed a little bit of attention which is another reason why he left it with me um and uh, tell you what let's just take a quick look at the specs um and then i'll tell you about what needed doing to the guitar and um what I think of it, we'll have a listen to some sounds, obviously. Uh, so this is a B-Stock Harley Benton BM75 Trans Red Deluxe Series. Uh, it has a mahogany body, um, it has a mahogany neck, an amaranth fretboard uh, with a 13.77, very precise, uh, inch radius, 24 frets and a 25 inch scale. I think the uh, the actual genuine Brian May guitars have a 24 inch scale, don't they? I think they look like a short scale guitar. Uh, three single coil vintage Alnico pickups, um, one master volume, one master tone, five way pickup selector, and three phase switches and a floating trim. Yeah, we've got the uh, the phase switches here. They don't do what you think they're going to do, um, mainly because of how the pickups are wired. Um, we'll talk about that more as we go on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but you know, in terms of you know the, the 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 quality of the guitar and everything. It's it's typical of a of a budget guitar, really. When you pick it up and play it, it's um, you know when you think, yeah, I can't find anything wrong with it. You know, it doesn't it doesn't sort of make you think, oh yeah, that's that's a bit suspect, that's a bit dodgy, as budget guitars of uh, yesteryear possibly led you to kind of think. So no, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly comfortable to play, but yet it just doesn't really make you go, oh yes. Oh, now this is a bit special either, which, you know, why would it? It's a budget guitar. Um, out of the box, it had um, virtually uh, no tension on the truss rod, so there was a big sort of kind of bow in the neck and everything, but that was uh, soon sorted out with your, your standard 4mm Allen key um, in no time at all. The strings were basically made of rust, so obviously it's had a new set of strings and the action has been lowered as well. I've been across all of the fretboard with um, some of my uh, preferred fretboard treatment, Dr. Duck's Axe Wax, because the fretboard was really rather dry. It was uh, it was in desperate need of a drink, so uh, just conditioned that a little bit. And I checked all of the frets with a fret rocker as well, and there's not a high fret anywhere on this guitar that I could find, so hence the action is now really super slinky and low. Um, yeah, well, as I say, we'll talk about these phase switches um, shortly, but just what I want to do at the moment is I'm just running into, as usual, my... Uh, my usual rig, the Blue Guitar Amp 1 Mercury Edition on the Vintage Channel. Um, I know Brian may use a Vox AC30, but I don't have one of those. So we'll, we should get a, a fair idea of, you know, the kind of tones this guitar makes. Um, and, uh, you know, how close it gets to that legendary sound that we all know and love. Uh, so let's just check the, uh, the, the bridge pickup now. I'm on a kind of moderately overdriven sound. Uh, we'll check out some clean tones as well. Um, moderately overdriven sound. I'm just going to go for what the bridge pickup sounds like. And it sounds like this. Ah, 
and it does exactly what you expect doesn't it that is clearly a single coil pickup in the bridge position going into you know a kind of an old school plexi type amp um as i say you know it's it's never going to sound like a brian may guitar unless you're really putting it into a, a vox ac30 uh which i've got kind of uh, guitar rig models of vox ac30s but um i don't know they never just seem to kind of quite cut it i think i think the, the ac30 is always a tricky amp to get um, a, a convincing model of been playing around with this guitar a little bit obviously getting it set up and everything and i've found that what really helps it along is if i just throw on a little bit of stereo chorus so that's what i've just done there just the uh, the choral um kind of plug in in guitar rig and now we get this <laughs> Just that addition of a little bit of modulation really kind of gets it. And that's, I still haven't left the bridge pickup yet. Now, um, Brian is obviously famous for putting two pickups on, on the guitar and using the phase switch. So that's what we're going to try and do now. So I've got it now in the bridge and middle positions. And I'm going to put the bridge pickup out of phase with the middle pickup. Let's see what that does. <laughs> I'm just wandering around there, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. But the thing is, I wanted to just kind of play a little bit of an extended thing there, just so you could hear what it sounds like. And it, it doesn't have that sort of Brian May out of phase sound, and there's a very good reason for that. It's uh, that on a Red Special guitar, on an actual Brian May guitar, when you have two pickups on together, they're effectively wired in series. Um, whereas on like a Strat or any other three pickup style guitar like this, when you have two pickups on together, they're wired in parallel. And that's what we've got here. Now it's, you know, anybody with a soldering iron and a bit of know-how could, I'm sure, uh, get round that. Um, you know, but for me, you know, it, you know, it's, you could do that, but you know, um, I would just tend to ignore these phase switches because if I go through the um, the just I'll play briefly on each of the five pickup settings with that stereo chorus on, and you'll hear it sounds you know quite Brian May esque anyway. It certainly conjures up the um, even using the wrong amp, you know, as I'm doing here. Uh, it, it conjures up enough of that sort of spirit of it that for a budget guitar, I think it's possibly mission accomplished. Let's have a listen. You see what I mean? It kind of, you know, any of those sounds there, you could, if, if you were playing in a covers band, you could use that for, you know, any of like Tie Your Mother Down or Hammer to Fall or that sort of stuff. Um, and, you know, it would 
very, very uh, comfortably fit the bill. Let's take a listen to some clean sounds now. I'm just going to go into the clean channel of the Blue Guitar Amp one. Uh, so I'm just going to switch there like that. And once again, all five uh, settings on the pickup selector, just playing a, a little bit of clean, noodly sort of stuff. It's going to sound like this. <laughs> It's very dark sounding, isn't it? Um, I, I wonder if I would get a, a better result with a clean tone if I go back to the uh, the, the kind of bro broken up, distorted, kind of overdriven sound and back the guitar's volume off. Uh, let's just see what that kind of thing does. Yeah, let's have a listen to this. I think I prefer that way of doing it, which is my usual preferred way of doing it anyway. Set up the uh, dirtiest sound you need on the amp and then uh, just clean it up from the guitar's volume control. That seems to work better than actually putting it into certainly the dedicated clean channel on this uh, blue guitar amp one. Uh, the trem, you see me kind of noodling around with it a little bit. It's It's got quite a, um, not stiff feel to it, but it's, it, it it allows you to kind of use it sensibly, but I suspect if you're going to start dive bombing it, it's going to protest and put your guitar out of tune. But just for doing the kind of that kind of stuff, it seems to be holding tuning reasonably well. So you know what we've got here is a, a sort of a a budget tribute to Brian May, uh, a Brian May guitar that, providing you're not wanting everything that the Brian May guitar does. Uh, you can get some very Brian May-like sounds out of it with the caveat that you must be using the right effects. And I will just add at this point, because it just popped into my head, that back in the early 90s, I was playing in a sort of a functions type band where we used to do um, a bit of a Queen medley to finish the uh, the first half of the set. What did we used to do? I think it was um, Hammer to Fall into... Um, what was the other one? Another one bites the dust into um, Fat Bottom Girls and back into Hammer to Fall again. That was our little Queen medley. And I used to get pretty uh, good Brian May sounds at the time, again, using a bit of stereo chorus and a three single coil guitar. It was a Strat uh, that I was using at the time. So if you want that kind of sound, you can get pretty close to it with a Strat. Uh, but if you want the look, as well then you're going to need one of these and shy of spending you know what is it now about 700 quid or more on uh, on an actual brian may uh, official guitar then you know 
this might be um, you know, a workable solution for you. Anyway, as I say, coming up on Sunday, we're going to be doing a full kind of deep dive on this guitar, all the widths and measures, pickup readings, uh, nut width and you know, neck profile, and put the song into, put the, the guitar into uh, a piece of music, you know, kind of see what it sounds like in a mix with other, other instruments around it and everything. And uh, there'll probably be a fair few guitar harmonies in that in that piece of music. So, you know, because obviously it's Brian May, why not? But that is very much the video for today, folks. That was my first impressions look at the Harley Benton BM75. Make of it what you will. I uh, hope you found the video useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5 p.m. UK time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and all manner of other great things great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now